welcome to today's graphic design tip of the day. For today's tip, I'm going to show you how to use the one point perspective method to create a drawing of an actual um, cityscape or interior space that you're designing. So the first thing that we want to do is decide on the vanishing point in your scene. As an example, I pulled up these two drawings that I found, um, and you can see that the vanishing point in this one is going to be right here at the end of the street. All of the buildings and every line is going to be connecting right to that vanishing point. So you can see that's the method we're going to use today. And other than just the outside space here, like this little city street, you can also do this with an interior space. Again, I have a vanishing point that I decided on, and then every line that goes back into that space is going to go directly to that line or that point. So on my design over here, I started by grabbing my pen tool and drawing just a line of where that vanishing point is going to be. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my layers palette, lock that layer because that is going to stay there until I'm done and I'll be able to delete it later. Let's go ahead and make a new layer on top of this. And now we can start adding our items into our space. So as an example, I'm going to go ahead and grab um, a building that I'd be adding into the space. And from that building, I'm going to go ahead and draw the lines um, for the sides of the building using my point that I have out in this space. So I can go to the bottom edge of this building here and connect to that point to give me a couple guidelines of where I need to draw those lines. And I'm gonna actually put that on a separate layer so that I can delete that easily. Let's put it on a layer above it. We'll have a guidelines layer. So edit, paste in place to put that back to where I just had it. And I wanna finish that line back to where I just put it over here. Okay, perfect. So now it's just a guideline um, and I'm gonna go ahead and lock that guideline layer so that I can actually draw my shape in. When I go to draw this in then for the side, I wanna make sure that the side of the building always stays exactly um, parallel with the original line that I had. So you can see that this is perfectly aligned. You can also hold your shift key down to verify that it's going to stay that way and connect back to that point. Now, if I was to connect to this top point, you wouldn't see the top of this building. So that one wouldn't make sense to draw. Let's go ahead and add our next building in. Okay, and then the same thing with the next building. Let's go ahead and lock that layer um, and then unlock our guideline layer. And I can use my pen tool then on that layer to draw in to that point of interest. Now in this situation, um, I am going to have the top of the building shown as well. So let's connect from the top point of the building also over here. And again, this is on my layer above so I can delete it easily later. It'll make it much better for you that way. I'll unlock my original layer and then I can go in with my pen tool. Again, make sure whatever you do for on the side here that you keep it um, exactly the same parallel with your original line of your building. And then we can go in and draw the top the same way. And for the top, actually let's start from the side because we want to make sure that this one is also exactly parallel, exactly horizontal to the top of my building. So you can see here from my scene um, what it would look like to continue to add anything into the space. Anything that is going to be sitting on the horizon line is going to have a line that's parallel with the original line that you draw on. And anything that is going to become the side of your building or structure or chair, table, whatever you're adding into your space, you're gonna go ahead and draw that and connect back to that starting point. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with this design.
And here we have a simple one point perspective drawing. I hope you enjoyed today's graphic design tip of the day. Thank you.